Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We are going to look at uh, how to build uh, an Ionic app. Uh, and this app has uh, three features. Uh, we'll be able to use it to uh, make calls, uh, um, manage uh, our, our contacts, and also do uh, SMS. Well, mm, let's see how it goes let's see let's see what happens this is the first uh, video uh, so i'll be creating a series of videos uh, focusing on a particular feature at a time or sections of the app uh, at a time well, we may not be able to build a fully fledged uh, app like uh, the ones we have uh, like true color or the others but let's see what we can do with Ionic. Uh, Ionic is a very powerful tool, so um, with the Cordova plugins available, uh, let's see what we can do. So to start, uh, we'll create an Ionic uh, project. Uh, so to create an Ionic project, you type Ionic uh, stat, as is uh, mentioned here. And then let's provide uh, uh, the name of the app. So let's call it Dyla. And uh, what well, we want it to be uh, tabbed. Um, we want to use a tabs uh, template. So we can have uh, three tabs where one will be for Dyla, one will be for contact, one will be for message. And, uh, so let's add tabs to it so let's see mm, okay so we started uh, creating a project for us um, so I'm going to stop this uh, video for it to finish then I'll come back now that the app has been created uh, let's open it in our editor um, Okay, so I'm using Visual Studio Code. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, let us uh, see how the app looks like in our browser. Uh, so I click Save. Uh, so we see what we are dealing with. Okay, okay, so um, well, since this is the first time to take a uh, right, so we have we have our app uh, live. So, yeah, we have our home about and contact. So, we will be changing these tabs to dial a messenger and uh, contact so that uh, we will use them for uh, what we want to do so to change let's let's create uh, let's create new pages for for uh, what we want to do so ionic g generates uh, page Dialer. Uh, after that, we will create one for SMS. Um, yeah, and then <clears throat> since we already have contact, well, this is contact. So, uh, well, let's use that. Let's use that. So when we look at our source directory, we have the pages here and we have the tabs. So to change um, the tabs you will be see you be using, we want to replace uh, this first one with the dialer and then the second one with the the SMS. First of all, we have to register <coughs> our. Uh, components in the app module uh, well seems uh, it's already done that for us 
Uh, oh no, no, it's not. Sorry, I thought it. Uh, so let's include them here. Um, so dialer. And then dialer page. Well, let me use the right way. Let, let's let's include a module instead. Dialer module, and let's include um, that for SMS. Okay. All right. So let's add it to our imports here. Um, SMS. Now we can access it from here well, i don't think I, i'm not sure if this will work but let's let's try and see um dialer page and sms page i'm not sure if this this will work uh a bit will work uh, let me see, let me see, uh, dialer, yeah, dialer page, let's see SMS, yeah, SMS page, well, it worked, yeah, it worked, it worked, so now let's change uh, the titles, so this dialer, we are going to use the icon phone and the SMS. We are going to use the icon text. Let's save it. Uh, live reload. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Whoa, okay. Dialer icon, let me see. Uh, call rather. So let's change it to call icon. Then uh, we have it. So, all right, yeah. So dialer is and contact. Okay, let's do a bit of CSS. So we're going to align our uh, titles uh, to the same. Uh, um, let's do the same for text, SMS. Uh, and let's do the same for contact. Mm -hmm. Two. Right. Let's 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 uh, comment this. Oh, let's remove it. Okay. okay. Now, one other thing. Sorry. Let's change our colors for the um the the the, the <coughs> tuba of um uh, yeah. So now but let's make it primary. So we get a blue yeah. So the color. Let's do the same here. And let's do the same here. Let's see what happens. Okay, 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 yeah. So we have it. 
Uh, should we change the color here for the tops? Let, let's mm, maybe let me let me try something and see color dark. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah. Let's change it to primary so that so the whole thing will be the same. Okay. So what was the next thing to do? Um, so the next thing since the app uh, is for us to be able to get a contact, make calls and do SMS stuff. Let's first get our contact. Let's first see how to get a contacts on our phone and display them here. Which means that uh, we cannot test in the browser anymore. We have to use uh, uh, an actual phone. So I'll be using an emulator to do that. All right. Now, how do we get the contacts of uh, contacts on our phone? Well, there is a, a, a there is an Ionic uh, native plugin um, called. Let's see, uh, uh, is it Contact? Yeah, Contact. Yeah. Mm. So it's access and manage contact on the device. That's what this. That so it has uh, document find documentation here that we can look through to do what we want to do. Mm, so, um, all right. So let's first install. Let's first in, install. Try the contract. So we install the Cordova plugin first, and then we will install the npm uh, package. Oh, sorry. So let's add it. Then let's copy this one to and add it. Oh, sorry. Um. Let me just open a new. Uh, terminal and add that one too so that both will run side by side yeah all right so um, I'm going to pause this video for it to finish and continue from there all right so we have our um, contact uh, plugin installed uh, and then the npm uh, module for contact also installed yeah so what we want to do is to include it in our uh, module and register it and our providers so we can use it so let's import um, from native slash um, contact Sorry, 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 sorry. Ionic native slash con contacts. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we will use the contact. Uh, we will use the contact. Um, Let me see. Contacts. All right. All right. You let's include this. Okay. But um, before we continue, there was one thing I wanted us to do. I want us to replace the contacts page with our own so we have uh, the module 
included, so we can refer to it uh, using a string. You always explain what I mean by that uh, later. And so I'm going to generate contact uh, page, sorry, contact. Um, all right, yeah, so now it has a module. So what we do is we use that, use the module instead. Yeah, so we register the module, we remove the component. Yeah, now that we've, we've imported the module and included it, here we can uh, refer to, to, to the component by just using the string without uh, importing it. So we can just remove everything here from this space and then just refer to it as a string. Yeah, that's what we've done with the page, SMS page. And it will work perfectly without importing the whole component again. Yeah, it's working. It's working. So, um, uh, let's, let's do one last thing. Yeah, let's fix this. And then try to launch our app in an emulator uh, before we end. So, um, all right. So let's change this. Uh, let's center it. Text center. Uh, if you know um, uh, Bootstrap, uh, there is a class called Text Center. Yeah. And this one is uh, an attribute. So you just add it to it and uh, it centers the text. Change the color of the number to, to primary. So it looks like uh, the original one that we did. Yeah. So now let's try to run our app in an emulator. I already have the emulator started. Now, before you can uh, run your app in an emulator or uh, an actual device, you need to add the platform. So we have to add a platform that is uh, either Android or iOS. Uh, I have already added mine and I could do a platform add Android. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, I spelled the platform wrong. Uh, yeah, so it's telling me that I already have it uh, installed. So if you don't have uh, your uh, platform installed, you have to install it either Android or iOS, and then we we'll run it. So let's run our app in our Android emulator here. So Ionic Cordova run Android. Yeah. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I know what will happen. Uh, it will uh, launch in the emulator. Now. Um, this will, will bring us to the end of the it is lunch, it will bring us to the end of this tutorial. In the next one, uh, I will uh, show you how you can uh, get the contacts on the device and list them on um, this pat contact here uh, so that uh, we can uh, view the details. So. Uh, do you want maybe you call or send a text uh, to, to, to that particular uh, contact here? Yeah? Well, uh, saying that it's, it's, it's been launched. Yeah. So that's it. It's working perfectly. All right. So see you in the next uh, tutorial.